Let's say you're an average citizen concerned about the climate. You could yell at a senator. We are now fighting for existence. Or make your kids do it. Can I go in and share this letter in front of Feinstein? But Billy Delancey says he has a better way for the little guy to be heard. Lobbying. Lobbyists for Good is a crowdfunding platform that lets everyday people raise money to hire lobbyists in order to get their voice heard and make actual change on Capitol Hill. Well, we'll do our, our standard meeting, make sure that we're brief, make sure that we're on point. Laura Reese is one of those everyday people. She's a vegan climate activist who wants to shrink the livestock industry. She found Billy's organization on Reddit. Hi. How's it going? I sent him a pitch for lobbying against animal agriculture subsidies and trying to flip the incentives toward plant-based proteins. Laura's proposal raised $5,000 on the Lobbyist for Good platform which buys her a part-time lobbyist for one month. Do you find people aligned with these kind of, what you might call do-gooder causes? Are they naturally more resistant to lobbying because of the connotations of it? Oftentimes, people like Billy and Laura, when they get into these issues, they never consider talking to or working with the lobbyists. Uh, they often go in and have talk to members by themselves. They never get real strategy because they're convinced that lobbying is inherently a bad thing. I want to show that this farmer is getting help, but this farmer is not. Yeah. A lot of people see lobbying as a way for wealthy interests to buy favors from elected officials. But if you want to get something done in D.C., good or bad, a lobbyist is how you do it. After you. Laura's original pitch was to end all federal subsidies for animal agriculture. A lot of those subsidies end up in the farm bill that Congress takes up every five years. The latest was $867 billion and passed in December. On advice from her new lobbyist, Ron, she instead developed a small pilot program that would offer grants to help livestock farmers switch to growing plants. Sometimes people want to go and the first thing they decide to do is lobby for, to revamp the entire farm bill. It's not plausible. And so what we realize is that we have to take politics and reduce it down to what's meaningful. Yes, lobbyists really do write legislation. Ron wrote the actual language for the pilot program that the group is now shopping on the Hill. And yes, laws really do get started this way. Hi, Congressman. But first they need somebody in Congress to sponsor their legislation. Laura here is an everyday person who used our platform. I've been working with a dairy farmer in Wisconsin. His name's Dan and he really wants to switch to growing tree nuts on his land. But he can't because he doesn't have any help. And so this pilot program would set up the ability to provide research and opportunities for the best management practices to help other farmers transition. Now in the process, just looking for those members that we can get on board. This would have been something that would have been part of a farm bill. That just passed. We are actually starting conversations now about how do we prepare for the next farm bill? Blumenauer has some ideas of his own for how Laura could promote her pilot program. What are you doing with celebrity chefs? But Billy still saw the meeting as a win. If you get stuck talking to a member of Congress, make the best of it. But people like Kevin, I mean the certified smart people who really young, run the place, right? The staffers play such an important role in the legislative process that having him agree to the theory of the pilot program in front of his staffer then gives him the green light to go ahead and do the legislation um, that is required to actually get this written into law. I think we're happy to kind of keep in touch with you all. I think we will be supportive of this program. He talked about the farm bill, which, I mean, that's five years off, and I understand getting in early. But to me, um, finding an avenue for legislation for this pilot program, the urgency of global warming, that didn't feel very good to me. This was one meeting of many. The five grand she raised got Laura 35 meetings with Congress and staff. And if she raises another five grand, she gets another month of work from Ron's firm. Why does it not work to say, just go find Nancy Pelosi and scream at her and say, environmental apocalypse is coming, do something? It just doesn't work that way. Natu like Human nature says that I'm going to be more willing to help you out if I view you as a friend and if I view you as a partner. And for somebody to come in and tell somebody, A, what to do, and to say it's my way or the highway, it gets such a negative reaction from members of Congress. The dairy industry, beef industry, they have tons of money, lots of lobbyists. 
Are you naive in thinking you can take them on with one lobbyist? There are a lot of people who are cynical about the organization. There have been some pretty stupid crowdfunding campaigns that have raised a lot of money. I think Cards Against Humanity raised $100,000 to dig a hole in the middle of nowhere. The resources are there. I mean, if we all pitch in, we can raise enough money where we are able to hire lobbyists to counter the corporate Thanks, influence. Lovely meeting. Oh, you. Uh, Do you ever blow it up? Do you what? Oh, yeah, blow it up.